What's up, it's the Electrical Code Coach here. Super pumped about today's video. One of the code coaches reached out to me, one of y'all reached out to me and said, Coach, listen, I'm being shocked at my pool. My daughter, my wife, me, it's the final straw. We're getting ready to move. This place has turned into a disaster. He had caught one of my videos on pool bonding. He said, well, maybe this guy can help me. I'm not any of the help. I just got to be part of the, you know, with the witness. So what ended up happening, I gave him, you know, talk to him. I can't give any official advice. I said, listen, you need to get your contact, you know, contact a qualified licensed electrician, get him out to your home. He says, I've done that already. I'm like, okay. He said, even the power companies came out. They were able to turn off the main breaker of this building and kill everything and still had this voltage on this. They're like, we've given up. Come to find out later, the homeowner who had lived there for 10 years prior was dealing with the trouble with this pool and could never get it figured out. Finally, they got linked up with a, a contacted a qualified licensed electrician who had been schooled on Mike Holt's videos on how to check for bonding, who had also happened to be schooled on all of my videos. So they were well-versed on pool bonding and what needed to be done. So this electrician goes out to this site and checks in between the earth and the pool, and sure enough, there's voltage. Well, he starts disconnecting things. Still, voltage to earth, voltage to earth. Chases it all the way back to the pool sub-panel. Disconnects the neutral going from the feeder panel. Still neutral or, you know, voltage to earth. Disconnects the ground from that panel and goes from the earth to the panel with no neutral or ground connected from the feeder. Nothing. Excuse me. So then he knows that it's something back there at the feeder panel. So goes to the feeder panel, takes a measurement from the earth to the grounding electrode system, 20 volts. So it escalated as you got closer away from the pool toward the feeder, four volts, six volts, and it would fluctuate based off demand from the other side of the utility, which we're getting ready to talk about here in just a moment. So he's able to kill the main breaker to the feeder, to that whole structure, to the service, kills the main breaker to that service, and can stick to the meter in the ground and to the grounding electro system and is getting 20 volts and it's fluctuating, 26, 21, back and forth. So with that being said, they contact a utility company. The utility company comes out and says, hey, they do some measurements, they look, they check things in and out. They're like, we're going to replace this pad mount transformer. So they get ready to replace the pad mount transformer. When they replace the transformer, the guy goes ahead and the utility guy drives another ground at that pad mount. And as he's going to make the connection with the grounding electrode conductor, he gets hit. And then they're like, something is going on here. They follow every neutral joint back for a mile and finally find a bad neutral joint that had been messing up the entire run all the way down the line. They find this neutral joint. It ends up completely removing all of the voltage and the customer gets to avoid the crisis of having to sell his home. I mean, talk about a story. They've been dealing with this problem for 10 years. I think the customer's lived there for a couple years. I'm not sure how long he's living there. Not that he's not my customer. The homeowner has been living there for a couple years. I'm so used to saying customer. Uh, the homeowner's been living there for a couple years. He's been dealing with it. He's getting ready to move out. His family's in dire straits. You know, it's a big burden on their family. They're getting ready to sell. So they end up getting the problem fixed. The voltage goes away on the pool. The voltage goes away on the system. Nobody's being shocked in the pool as far as I know, you know, from this point on. Everything's properly bounded, it sounded like. So it's just one of those things that it doesn't even have to be your structure that is feeding and leaking this voltage. And a, a GFCI would never trip because it's not from that system. It's leaking off the utility system and it's coming down off of probably an imbalance in their neutral, you know, just from having the loose neutral connection, trying to find earth at any point to, you know, stabilize the system. So the other scary thought that I want to take away from this is that, yes, you can pick picking up voltage on the earth from the utility, but what would have happened to that neutral or to that pool if that neutral from the utility a mile away would have been completely broken in a storm? How many volts would that pool have been carrying? So that's something that we need to think about as an electrical community. And that's one of the main reasons that we are not allowed to use our pools as a grounding electrode. If you think about it, it'd be one of, it would be one of the best grounding electrodes imaginable. It's 8 foot deep, maybe 12, 13 foot deep, huge concrete pad, 
buried straight in the ground. It would be the ultimate grounding electrode. But the NEC does not want you to connect a large conductor going back to your main panel, and this is why. We want you to connect that number eight bonding grid to a teeny tiny minimum number 12 and have it go back to the panel. And the reason is, is that we don't want a large grounding path going all the way back to the panel because it works both ways. That yes, you would have a large ground fault pack going back to the panel to either, you know, trip the ground fault, uh, clear a normal fault. But at the same time, if there ever wanted to be or if there was ever an imbalance or another issue like this, current could flow the other way because it's coming back to a huge grounding electrode. The pool is just a giant grounding electrode. So instead of voltage heading back toward the panel to clear a fault, voltage is heading this way in order to try to stabilize itself and get to the lower potential, which is the pool with this giant grounding electrode. So I really thought you guys would think that was interesting. A man was getting ready to completely sell his home, walk away from this thing. So he calls his wife. Wife starts, you know, just about breaking out in tears because she's so excited that they finally got it fixed. So it truly was a God thing that he was able to watch a video, contact me, ended up contacting somebody else. This person knew enough, had, had enough knowledge to come out and truly source the problem. You know, they were there for a long time trying to figure this problem out and dialed it back and dialed it farther back and dialed it farther back. So if you are the one, you know, don't ever repeat anything in these videos, just use it for educational purposes only. But this is just another feather in our hat. For education, for sourcing, finding these issues, correcting these issues, so everyone can enjoy their pool, their home, their spa, their fountains safely. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I just want to see you win. If there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.